Hey everybody, welcome back to another gameplay video. I am back this time around. We got the real deal. I am um, getting the taste of the other plug and play Miss Pac Man out of my mouth. Um, bitter, bitter aftertaste. But this time around, we've got a, a fantastic real deal right here, everybody. This is this Miss Pac Man plug and play joystick by Jack's Pacific. Look at that. There's two buttons up there that actually will be used. <laughs> um, of course, the back of it, that it, usually the battery compartment's on the bottom, but this is on the back and it takes four AA batteries. Of course, there's the menu button, there's the on and off switch, the LED light. There's a little picture of all the games that are on the side there. You can see them. Galga, Mappy, uh, Zevius, Pole Position. Very cool. Um, of course, Miss Pac-Man is the highlight of this whole game console. Uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Um, I want to go ahead and play through these games. Uh, I'm kind of deciding which one I want to do first. I know you guys want to see Miss Pac-Man uh, done right on this plug-and-play. So let's just start with let's start with Mappy. Just this is a lesser known game kind of to some people, but it's a fun little platformer. Um got, got neat little uh sound effects and music, so you gotta avoid the cats pretty much, and while at the same time getting the little uh items here. Of course, the buttons aren't used right away. When you ne get next to a door, hit the button, and then boom, you can uh, avoid the uh, little cats, your little mouse named Mappy. You can see I'm bouncing off the uh, springs and stuff like that, and I can choose which level I can go into, like move to the left there, boom, get that. It's a very oddball game, but it's pretty fun. Just hit the button right there, and you can just kind of get rid of those cats, get some points there. See, boom, you can kind of go up there. Of course, the big button, that's it, I got the, I finished that level. The big button is the one that opens the door. See, they can't hurt you when they're in the air like that, so it's kind of an advantage. So I can sit here and, uh... ah, see. I should have went through that door, though. Like that. The little ones that flash has got that little sonic wave or whatever. And you can get rid of those pesky cats. You like that? There we go. It's a fun little game. It's pretty simple. Might not, like I said, it might not be uh, as known to a lot of people. Boom. <laughs> I just knocked the cat over. Uh, hitting that door. Once you get the hang of it, though, it's just it's pretty simple. Watch this. Boom. Knocked the cat over. He didn't know what the, what the heck hit him. So, get that. Get that cat. Boom. So, I mean, pretty straightforward. Um... I like it. So we get all these balloons. You don't want to bounce on these um, platforms too much. They'll actually uh, disappear. As you can see by the color coding, it's green, now it's blue, so it will disappear. If you bounce on them too much. Trying to get the balloons here before the music ends. Got some good music, catchy tunes. Oh, the music's in. All right, let's see what I won there. Not too bad. Not quite a perfect game, but uh, we're getting there. All right, round four. Alright, sonic wave there. We got those cats out of the way. 
right? Joystick is great. It's phenomenal. It's um, I'll tell you a little bit more about that in a minute, but it's great multi-directional joystick for four directions to be exact, and it's uh, micro switches. Oh, ooh, that cat is like right there, right there. So we go over here. Boom! Knock him out. You can actually bounce on top of this house. So you know. I'm hidden from the top there, the real roof area. Oh. These cats will really pursue you. There we go. Cool. Another level down. This really is a pretty addicting game. Very underrated, I think. Undiscovered by a lot of people. Boom. <laughs> I, just, I love that when you open the door and you fall over and knock those cats over. Very cool. Alright, just got an extra life. Boom. Knock you over. Extra life for a balloon. Let's see. I guess that is represent extra life as a balloon. All right. Got the high score, by the way, so that is awesome. Ah, that door went the other way. Okay, I see the doorknob. Uh, tells you which way the door is going to open. Whoa! Oh, I'll tell you the cats. Purple ones seem to follow you. That red one's just kind of doing its own, its own thing right there. Right. Oh, there we go. Hey. Really like to. I really like racking up points on this game. I first discovered this game really um, on the Namco Museum for the original PlayStation. I remember buying that specifically for Pac-Man, and I'm like, Mappy, what is this game? <laughs> Played it, and I'm like, okay, I likes it. Yeah, what takes long is getting this, uh... Ah, so close. Yeah, it's just getting those, uh, trampolines to... disappear. Alright. Round eight. Not too bad. Decent run right now. Let's get this bell up here. <laughs> oh, those cats. Oh, yeah, that's some good points right there. Kind of like Pac Man, the more you get in a row, the more points you get. Of course, it's made by the same company, Namco, so. All right. Oh! Now, I didn't realize I would have uh, expired there. Huh, I didn't realize that. I thought you could safely oh, fall through. Oh. Ah. Now that was preventable right there. But anyway, <clears throat> that was Mappy for the plug and play arcade system here from Jack Specific. Fun game. All right, let's get my initials. All right, like I said, this is a, a, a micro switch joystick. Very beautiful playing. It's just very intuitive, very good. The buttons are great. They, they click too as well. 
Let's hit the menu button. Let's quit this. All right. Let's go with a familiar game everybody knows, uh, Galaga. If you're, that's about as popular as you can get. So the button, of course, you see the uh, display screen here. You, the demo. I mean, <laughs> if you've been into an arcade or even a retail place in the past 30 years, they usually have a Miss Pac-Man or Galaga combo machine in there, or they've had Galaga. Um, th this is probably of all the s little space shooters like this, Galaga is probably <laughs> there among the most popular. So let's give it a shot. Galaga. Uh, sequel to Galaxian. Pretty much. The big button shoots. The little button doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything, but no turbo. Alas, that would have been cool if the small button was a, was a turbo button. But yeah, it controls great. I love it. Of course, with uh, Galaga, you can shoot two shots at one time instead of uh, one, which helps tremendously. Alright, so these guys are going to keep falling. The uh, green one will not uh, use its tractor beam to get me. One of the strategies is getting one of your ships up into the tractor beam so you can double your firepower once you get it back from him. Oh yeah. Alright. See if we can get this guy to grab me. There we go. Perfect. Now, if I don't shoot the ship, I can get it back and have double the firepower. Which that's happened before. I've shot the ship. Ah, <laughs> oh, cross me. Got me in the crossfire there. Let's see if we can get him. There we go. Perfect. Double the firepower for double the fun. Alright, let's get this bonus stage. Let's see if we can get it. Alright. Oh, ah, good, good, good. Alright. Ah! I, I can't shoot the button as fast as I could. I admit it. If I if I if the button was kind of maybe on the right side, I would do it a little bit better. But as it is, I'm sitting here using my left thumb, and I'm so close, very close. Alrighty. As you can see, they are getting faster. There we go. There we go. All right, next stage. <laughs> Come on, baby. Perfect, perfect. Yes! Perfect. Woo! My thumb's taking a 
taking a beating, though. Here we go. Got the highest score, by the way. I, I, I want to say I've never been tremendously great at Galaga. Pretty decent, but I'm kind of proud of what I got so far. <laughs> I, I was probably a little bit better on the Atari 7800 version of it, which I'll eventually play as well. It'd be cool if this uh, uh, the little green enemy could uh, tractor beam two of your ships at the same time. And then get it back and have like three firepower. Get to a point where they're all like ships at the bottom. Ah! Well, I got an extra man out of that. You see how fast they're rotating and then uh, forming. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that double firepower. Ah! Here I am. I'm trying to explain this. And then I'm getting killed. That's alright. Ah! Oh. Okay, I'm just falling apart here. So I can I cannot afford to let them tractor beam me now. I'm at my last enemy. Nope, not today. All right, <laughs> I, that last stage just uh, really leveled me there. They don't seem to be uh, moving as fast as they rotate around now. Maybe I lost all those lives. Maybe it kind of adjusted the uh, difficulty. I don't know. I like how some of the enemies like morph into another ship. There we go. Uh, this is going to be tough. Yeah. Not good. Mm -hmm. Oh, bad. Very bad. Well, at least I got one row. Is a hundred thousand in my future? Kind of doubt it, but never say never. All right, there you are. Getting very intense right now. It's definitely faster gameplay than Galaxy. Oh, oh, and speaking of the Galaxian, there's a little Galaxian ship there. But hey, 91,200, that's all right. I'm sure there's a lot lot better scores out there, but uh, I'll take it for now. I, I might do a separate gameplay and really try to achieve a, a stratosphere. Oops. Oh, well. Jeffrey Strong. Let's just say that. All right. All right. Hey, that was great. That was cool. That was um, that was Galaga. All right. Let's try Xevious. Now, this is a fun game. I played. I remember playing at at the uh, laundromat up the street. I'd get off of uh, school, off the bus from school, and you know they had this up there at one point. This and Joust and Super Pac-Man and a couple others, but Xevious was a pretty cool game. One button fires, the other button drops the bomb, so you, you have two targets, two planes of targets. You have the air enemies you have to shoot, and then you have the uh, ones on the ground you have to bomb, so let's give that a shot. The big button shoots your air enemies, the top there and the bottom button will shoot the, uh, the bombs. Actually, I, I take uh, what I said about the joystick earlier being a four-way. It's not. It's an eight-way because you have to have diagonals um, in this particular game. So this is an eight-way joystick. 
very nice. I mean, it, it, it <laughs> works very well. Of course, the uh, if, if you're used to the arcade version, the, the sound effects and the music are a little a tad lower sounding than the uh, arcade version. Because like when I drop the bombs and stuff, they, it's low sounding. I, I've, I've spent many of hours <laughs> playing the uh, the original, so but still not bad, not bad. I'll admit, I'll admit, I mean, I'm not going to lie, the button placement on this is a little bit uh, awkward for me because I'm used to having the right, using my fingers, you know, have it on the right or the left, and this, the button placement for this particular game is kind of uh, awkward for me, so I probably won't do as good. <laughs> Let's see. See if you if you can aim your little aiming uh, right. Watch this. If you can aim like right in the middle of two objects on the ground, you can get both of them with one bomb with your little target aiming target right there. So you can also get four of them. I can if I can get all four of them. You can actually if you aim it right in the middle, you get all four of them. A little bit of strategy there. I'm not even close to getting a high score. Wow. I just looked at that and I'm like, oh my gosh. Not well at all. There we go. All right. See if I can get all four of them. Ah, uh, no, not quite. Ooh, my thumb is taking a beating here. <laughs> That was Xevious. That was a, a good, good version of it on this plug and play. Oof, thumb. Yeah, if the buttons were, if they had buttons on either side, if I could just, you know, kind of adjust to it, then I, I could do a little bit better. But I'm not making excuses for myself. Nah, not at all. Okay. I referenced the joystick, a little special feature this thing has. And I'm about to show you this is pole position. This is a pretty good game. I liked it in the arcade. It had the um, the full joystick or the full wheel, steering wheel, and it had a paddle on the bottom and a brake. So it was kind of simulated a, a, a car, pretty much. But um, it was okay controlling. I'll show you this joystick right here. It's got a little knob on the top, and you can turn it left and right, and it snaps back into place right in the center and I wanted to tell you from my personal experience with pole position this is the absolute hands down best way that I've ever played pole position because this joystick is so precise you left and right because it uses analog analog controls and this is just amazing I've tried the arcade uh, steering wheel it was good it was okay I've tried the 2600 version and the 5200 version with their joysticks, and you know they're all right. But this was just so precise; it gives you such precision when you turn. It's just amazing. I love it. This is like the best way to play for me pole position with this joystick. So I'm gonna give it a shot and play it real quick. Prepare to qualify and qualify. I hope I do. So. The big button is your um, is your um, gas, 
the small button just shifts your gear from low to high. I tell you, I, this brings back memories when I had this plug and play years ago. I'm telling you, this the joystick, if you move it left and right, it does not do anything, but once you get it, once you get, um, get, get it, get in the zone, you will, you'll love it. But yeah, this is hands down. And I love how it just, it snaps back into place. Of course, I'm not doing too well now as I say it. But that's all right, I'll, I'll play it again. Yeah, perfect controls. I just absolutely love it. Just, just the way it, it handles corners. I'm going to play this again. <laughs> All right. All right, here we go. I'm going to get myself situated right quick. And we're going to play this again. All right, here we go. Get a little bit of concentration going. Mm, almost. All right, what do I got? Seventh place. That's not too bad. I've had better. Trust me. I've, I've <laughs> positioned first on this. All right, here we go. We are going for the gold. Uh, all the cars look like me. How confusing. Ah, see that? That's just beautiful precision ah, handling. I tell you, I'm, I'm, I know I'm gushing over this joystick, but ah, ah, the best. And I know I probably not look like I'm doing too well, but trust me, I, I'm doing better than I would with any other control for this game. Buttery smooth. I love it. Ah, oh. That's all right. Got this. I'm just out of practice. Trust me, I, I'm just out of practice with this game. So, but this is the only way I'll play it. Well, not I, I'll, I'll take that back. Not the only way I'll play it, but um, the preferred way I'll play it. Let's put it that way. Look at that, just weaving in and out of the cars. Oh, there we go. It's just turning the. I gotta handle those corners better. I gotta get that going. Really perfect that. Ah, uh, so close. But yeah, I was getting warmed up. I was getting in the zone there. I was out that that practice. It was coming back to me. You can, you saw how I weaved in and out of those car. That joystick. I just telling you, it was just very. I'm gushing over it, but that this is definitely the best way. So.
so with when you put in your initials, you just you just move the joystick left and right, so you don't uh, use the analog. But that was pole position. I mean, you saw. I mean, I didn't do my very best on this, but you saw how I weaved in and out of those cars. That was just that was the joystick right there. That was the 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 oneness with my controller right there. So yeah, pole position. Amazing. I wish. Uh, I wish they could keep. I wish they made another plug and play with part two and and other driving games. I, I can imagine playing Ridge Racer or any other game with this. Ugh, just so great. Sorry, I'm I'm done with that. But the next game on the list is the main event. Um, this is what we're all here for. Uh, of course, the last plug and play left a, a little bad taste in my mouth. Like I mentioned earlier, Miss Pac-Man. All right, this is it. This is the Miss Pac-Man. If you want a portable plug and play, get this version of the plug and play with Miss Pac-Man on it. I mean, just look at it already. You got Blinky, Pinky, Inky, and Sue. <sighs> I don't know what else to say about the last one. Let's just play it. Let me just show you what after this little intro right here, let me just show you how it works, how it sounds, how it controls. Of course, this is it. All right, we're ready. I mean, listen to that. The buttons don't do anything. They certainly don't pause the game, both buttons, for, for whatever reason. Controls are great. Sounds are great. Looks like it. Looks like Miss Pac-Man. The joystick, I mean, it controls great. Of course, look at the fruit there bouncing all over the place like it's supposed to. Buttery smooth. Even though it's not butter, it's a fruit. Of course, it, it it's, it's arcade worthy. It's not... If you're a hardcore Miss Pac-Man player, you know the differences and stuff. It's... Maybe, maybe a few of the effects are a little bit lower, like the ghost eyes. I noticed that. But, I mean, right now I'm comparing it to the last plug-and-play I played. <sighs> Let's get that strawberry. I mean, the ghost looked great. The maze looks great. It doesn't look like it's a NES version. And we're, we're, we're about to see the intermission, so we're about to see how awesome it is. Awesomeness is... is Got the strawberry, got the healthy fruit. All right, now let's, let's just sit back and enjoy. I mean, yeah, what else can I say? get that peach if we can if we can't no problem whoa okay here he goes there we go all right here comes sue after me there we go all 
Of course, I noticed that about Miss Pac-Man as I did Pac-Man. I, I mentioned that in the Pac-Man. It's like the ghosts, when they turn corners, it's like their eyes move up like the opposite direction before they they move in that in the direction they're supposed to. It, it's weird. It, it's hard to explain. Like, like Pinky there, he went straight across and he just glanced up for a second and continued to go across. So it's not perfect, but uh, I... I take this over any plug and play Miss Pack. All right, pretzels. They're good. Oh. Oh well. Here we go. Oh. All right. Oh, I am totally missing them. Here they come. Alright, cool. Apple level up next. Um, I love apples. Love the different kinds. Red Delicious. Granny Smith. Of course, the yellow ones. They're a little bit harder to find sometimes. The Golden Delicious. But it's not hard to find Golden Flake potato chips. You can find those anywhere just about. Let's sit back. There we go. And enjoy the second intermission. chasing around there. Pac-Man, Miss Pac-Man. No problems. Ah! Oh. See, Inky, I'm used to Inky going in the left corner down there. So that was, that's kind of a different uh, behavior. But that's alright. Like I said, I don't think this is straight up emulation at all. I think it was just coded uh, from the ground up. I mean, it's definitely they they don't behave a hundred percent like they're supposed to. But I mean, I like it. It's a good version. It really is, especially if you want a different challenge on Miss Pac-Man, and you're not used to if, if you're used to certain ways of playing on the arcade. This will give you a challenge just because it's so different. A little bit random. Alrighty. Banana. Definitely an awesome stage. Just for the fact it's... Oh, see, Inky's coming after me. Banana gives you so many points. It's getting to the... Gets to the... To the uh, point... Where it's it's more it's worth more just to get the fruit than the ghosts, you know. Earlier on, you know, you get the ghost, that's how you rack up the points. Whoa. Kinda like the key stage in the original Pac-Man. You just gotta get that key. Maybe focus on it. <laughs> Some close calls there. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, well. Oh, darn it. I was hoping I'd outrun him. Oh, well. Well, that was it. That's Miss Pac-Man right there. Um, can you tell the difference between night and day? I mean, it, it really... I. Mm. But I won't harp on the other one. I won't, I won't dwell on the other one. Uh, this is, and all in all, this is a great plug and play. This is very awesome. This is Miss Pac-Man uh, from Jack's Pacific. This came out years ago. I want, I want to say about ten or so years ago. But uh, if you can hunt it down, if you can find it, grab it and play it and enjoy it, because this is a, is a great way to play the classics that aren't in the other standard plug and plays. Especially give pole position a try if if you were turned off by the controls on pole position give this little joystick a try i mean it's just awesome it's buttery smooth I, i'm i'm just excited about talking about pole position again with this this joystick but this is a good a good plug and play amazing great graphics great design and it's uh it's cheap i got it for five bucks at goodwill so be on the lookout for it you could probably get on ebay cheap as well or amazon but that's it for today. That's another plug and play. I'm glad you joined me. I'm glad you you um, taking time out of your day to watch me and you know see see all these games that I'm you know give you my review, my impression, what's worth it, what's not. So take care next time, guys. Uh, the next plug and play I will do. We will revisit Disney. Um, this is a plug and play. I think this is called Disney Friends. This is the blue version. Kind of slightly different, but it's um, looks like it's got Goofy's nose. Um, speaking of which, here's Goofy right here. So, yeah. <laughs> you can see the, see the similarities right there. But, yeah, we will do the Disney Friends. I did the red base version of this, so check that one out if you want. I uh, appreciate it. Thanks again. I know I'm rambling. So take care, guys. I'll see you next time with another gameplay video. Take care and see you next time.